Hey folks, Bobby from Repair Shopper here with another Feature Friday video. This week we're going to be talking about some updates that we're bringing to the new UI based on some user feedback that we've collected over the last couple of months. First, thank you to everyone that's been sending in the feedback. We definitely appreciate it and we're applying what we can where it makes sense. So let's jump into this. As you can see, I'm here on a ticket and the changes were all consolidated into the communication section, which is one of the more important parts of the ticket. First major change you'll notice is that this dropdown has some new selections in it. The stuff that was there previously, like email and text message, is still there, but some other nice things have been added as well. You can, like I said, email the customer. You can still add uh, private notes, just like you could before. You can now add public notes that don't necessarily email the customer, but would be visible on the customer portal. You can, of course, just send a text message. Uh, you can also now send an email and a text message at once. Some other new additions here are if there are any attachments on a ticket, you can click the attachment button here and quickly add those to the comment that you're about to make. And close that out and you'll see it right here. They're also gonna be visible in the log and I'll show you that here in a moment. Uh, of course, you can still add labor and your, your, if you want it to be billable right away or not from here. So let me type in work complete and we'll add this note and we'll scroll down. As you can see here, like I'd mentioned before, you can see the attachment in the comment log. You'll also notice the background's yellow. We do appreciate the feedback around that. So now you can easily tell what's internal versus not. Um, there are some new icons. You can hover over it and see uh, if it's public or private. You can see, for instance, if the customer replied. You can also see if something was emailed. Down below here, in this case, I sent a text message and an email at once. The thumbs up icon actually means the customer opened the email and you get a timestamp of that. Another really awesome feature that we got feedback about is that we heard that some of you wanted to be able to see the time entry on the actual communication log itself so that you knew which logs included the time entry. So whenever you submit a comment now that has time entry on it, it'll actually sh show that right here as well. So. That's quite a bit of changes for one section, but again, the ticket commenting section and the communications portion of the ticket is you know, very important for communicating with your customers. Uh, we do, again, appreciate everyone that's been sending in their feedback, and I would ask to please continue sending in your feedback as you use the UI. Uh, it's important to us uh, to hear how you're using it so that we can make informed decisions on how to actually go about making it better for everyone. So that's the commenting section. Again, lots of new options here. You can email an SMS, you can log time, the time log is visible. You can add attachments easily that are associated to the ticket. And there are indicators here that allow you to easily tell if the customer opened or saw the communications you've been sending to them. I hope everyone enjoys these new updates and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.